Cleanup efforts are underway in Acres Homes, a neighborhood that's been an illegal dumping ground for years. The dirty conditions, including rodents and insects, got so bad that one neighbor called Bill Spencer to get the issue resolved. Now, Bill's answering that call. He is joining us now live from Acres Homes. Bill, a lot of progress being made out there today. Yeah, it's been a lot of hard work, too, uh, and you can see what we have done. Uh, we are making, it, making this pile smaller and smaller. Take a look at the heavy equipment over here, uh, lifting up the really giant, dangerous debris. We're talking about the broken concrete, the shattered glass, uh, all of this uh, discarded furniture, and, of course, the I don't know how many broken open trash bags and, and different kinds of debris that we have out here today. Uh, this is a project that we started at 5.30 this morning. I'm working with 1-800-GOT-JUNK and a crew from that company. And also, uh, we've got this heavy equipment that came in, uh, and they are, th these are the guys from Lansdowne Moody. Uh, they are a heavy equipment supply uh, company that handles uh, landscapers, uh, builders, construction guys. Hey, if you want to move dirt or materials, uh, you're going you're gonna to rent equipment from them. And they brought in their big equipment for us. The neighbors in this uh, area who called me for help couldn't be more thankful, and I want you to hear from one of them. His name is Leonard Johnson. He is a former, uh, a former Army veteran, now disabled. Here's what he had to say this morning. Oh, man, <laughs> it was a blessing now. I said, wow, you're honoring what you told me two weeks ago. And I said, wow, he's on top of the game, you know. On top of the game. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yes, Thank sir. You. Yes, do you, do you. Are you happy with what you see, though? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Real happy about that. That was Leonard standing out on his front porch watching all of the progress we're making. And again, he is thrilled we came out here. Uh, we came here because the folks who live here on Sandal Street were sick and tired of trying to get help from the city of Houston, not getting it. And they just couldn't put up with this mountain of trash any longer. It's been here for three years. Again, by the end of the day, by 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon, we expect to have all this cleared out. We're about 50% through the project uh, and got a little bit more to do. Uh, please check us out on Facebook on clicktohouston.com. And, of course, we'll be back here at 4, 5, and 6 o'clock. Mike, thanks to all of the hardworking uh, crew members that are helping me today clean up this absolute despicable, disgusting mess. Reporting live in Acres Homes, Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News. So much hard work to make a true difference in that community, Bill. Thanks so much.